representative reprimand. That video has been seen by three million people. After a cartoon that was anything but funny. Expect a pre-pandemic rush. You're gonna be sitting in that old-fashioned traffic again. As drivers hit the road for Thanksgiving. And before sitting behind the wheel. But by the way, I'll sit down, man, if you have a seat. President Biden accidentally leaves a crowd on his feet. These stories and more coming up on Newsbreak. Hello, South Florida. Good Thursday morning. I'm Alejandra Garcia. And I'm Zitlali Solache. And today's November 18th, 2021. From the South Florida Media Network's Biscayne Bay Studios in North Miami, this is SFMN Newsbreak. Call for censure, a member of Congress in trouble for a cartoon he posted online. The congressman in question is Paul Gosar from Arizona. As CNN's Jen Sullivan reports, it's the first time this has happened in more than a decade. These actions demand a response. It's a resolution that is the most severe symbolic form of punishment in the House of Representatives. And now members of Congress have voted to censure GOP Arizona Congressman Paul Gosar and strip him of his committee assignments after he tweeted an animated video of himself attacking President Joe Biden and appearing to kill Democratic Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez last week. That video has been seen by three million people. It was up for over two days before it was taken down. Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez slammed Republican leadership for not publicly condemning Congressman Gosar's violent video. What is so hard about saying that this is wrong? House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy pointing the finger back at Democrats, accusing them of hypocrisy and how they are retaliating against Congressman Gosar. When others on the other side of the aisle incite violence, it's okay because it's words for the rules for these, but not for me. And when it was his turn at the mic, Congressman Gosar didn't offer up an apology, saying he rejects accusations that the cartoon was dangerous or threatening. I reject the false narrative categorically. I do not espouse violence towards anyone. I never have. If I must join Alexander Hamilton, the first person attempted to be censored by this house, so be it. I'm Jen Sullivan reporting. Soon, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis will sign new COVID laws to end a special session in Tallahassee. Meanwhile, the nation's other Republican governors met yesterday in Phoenix for their annual gathering. They welcomed in Virginia's newly elected governor, Glenn Youngkin. The Republicans hope his victory in Virginia earlier this month will be a predictor of how the midterm elections go. President Biden is hosting what is being called the Three Amigos Summit. The event takes place at the White House today with Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and Mexican President Andres Manuel Lopez. They will be announcing a COVID-19 vaccine donation program, a new group on supply chain resiliency, and a pledge to reduce emissions. This is the first meeting since 2016. President Biden fulfilling his role as comedian-in-chief with a great off-the-cuff joke. He was in Detroit yesterday touring the GM facility and even finding time for a test drive of an all-electric Hummer. The joke has to do with the courtesy of standing for a president until he says it's okay to sit down. But by the way, I'll sit down, man, if you have a seat. <laughs> I'm not used to being president. Everybody's standing. I, I'm sorry. He's touting the infrastructure plan, which provides $7.5 billion in funding for the nation's electric car vehicle charging network. A blast from the past at the FTX Arena last night as the Heat posted the New Orleans Pelicans. Team captain Udonis Haslam played some meaningful minutes in the game and even blocked a player trying to dunk in the third quarter. The Heat going on to win the game 113-98. They play the Wizards tonight at 7.30. Fancy seasonal fees are getting a bit pricey this year. That's still ahead and so is the story. If you can leave um, Wednesday before noon, that's great. Be sure to get your eggs in order this Thanksgiving because traffic might be a little backed up this season. News break, we'll be back in two minutes. The family's visit to the forest inspired a beautiful question. Mother, mother, am I a tree? You tell me to stand tall. You tell me to stay rooted. I think I am a tree. My child, my child, of course you are. But what kind of tree will you be? The kind to hug or the kind to climb? 
Doesn't matter what you choose, so long as you choose to be a tree that's kind. Make the forest part of your story at a park near you. Find one at discovertheforest.org. Bill is a family man. He invests his money wisely and provides a good life for his children. Just one problem. He often opens emails from senders he doesn't know. And his computer is not password protected. One day, Bill checked his bank account and... 94% of malware attacks originate from emails. Don't be like Bill. Take your cybersecurity seriously. I help our fellows design their paths as creative entrepreneurs. My experiences serving startups, creative businesses, and cultural organizations, and my journey as a queer mixed immigrant with Haitian and Arabic roots inform the co-creative environment we foster at Radcliffe. We leverage our collective diversity to encourage the building of lifelong personal learning networks and mindsets that stimulate continuous innovation. COVID-19 has changed how we stomp the yard and fill the beat. Now it's time to take the first step that lets us get back to strolling instead of scrolling. Before we can safely come together, we need the facts. As COVID-19 vaccines become available, you may have questions. Is it safe? Should I get it? Is it free? It's okay to have questions. Now get the facts about COVID-19 vaccines at GetVaccineAnswers.org so you can make an informed decision for yourself and for your fam. Prices for gas, hotels, and cars are on the rise this holiday season. Today, we're taking a closer look at the higher travel costs. And we're looking at the best time to hit the road for our Thanksgiving destinations. This Thanksgiving, brace yourself for possible pre-pandemic holiday highway congestion. You're going to be sitting in that old-fashioned traffic again. With inflation, supply shortages, and massive demand as more families gather in person. Experts warn traveling to your destination will cost you more patience and more money. So it's more, but as, as we've always discovered, no matter how much gasoline prices are, people are still going to take that trip. They'll just budget along the way. Maybe they won't be showing up at Thanksgiving dinner with a really big pie, might be a smaller pie. The national average of gas is $3.41 per gallon. According to AAA, that's more than a dollar higher than last holiday season. And if you're renting a car, recent data from the Labor Department shows rental car prices increased 42% this calendar year. No relief if you fly to your destination either. From staffing shortages to possible flight cancellations, airlines are expecting challenges during the busiest travel season of the year. And so we're seeing a lot of scrambling by the airlines and it's going to continue heading into the holiday season. Hotel rates are also up. According to AAA, mid-range hotel rates increased about 39%. And while you may not be able to avoid the higher prices on your road trip, experts say a bit of flexibility can save you a lot of time. Leave early. If you can leave um, Wednesday before noon, that's great. Or one of the best travel days, if you're only going kind of a, a close-in trip, leave Thanksgiving morning. And according to AAA, more than 53.4 million are expected to travel for the Thanksgiving holiday. That's up to 13% compared to last year. Some people might have a reason to not be so thankful this year. The cost of Thanksgiving for Americans is up 14% this year. More Americans have been cooking at home this year, and when compared to last year's dinner, it can get pricey. The price of the turkey alone is up 24%, and the side dishes seen increases as well. It's been suggested to get all your meal prepping done early. That's all the time we have for News Break. I'm Zitlali Solache. And I'm Alejandra Garcia. Get more news anytime at sfmn.fiu.edu.